talk about why Cody is a failure as a man. Because really, he has failed. Because he has failed Janelle as a husband. A woman who does not require anything. Literally anything from a husband as a woman. And he just could not even make it work with her. But let's go ahead and talk about you guys. It's Mary. And Emma. And we invite you guys to like. Subscribe. And comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon for live reviews of Sister Wives, Sister Wives skits and role plays. And to talk to me and Amma personally in the DMs, you guys. But let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Yeah. You know, Cody came over to the apartment. And, you know, it just really brought home the fact that Janelle really has not required anything from Cody this whole entire marriage. Mm. She really has not required anything much from him physically. She doesn't really require anything emotionally from him. Yeah. And she definitely does not require anything from him, like, really, like, mentally either. Like, she really just requires for him to come over to the house maybe a couple times in the week or whatever. Or a month. A couple or times a month. a month. Right. Do work around the house. Right. A couple times a month, maybe hang out with your kids or check in with them. And then maybe, maybe once every couple weeks or once a week, be like, attend to me physical. That's it. That's all. She is like probably a man's dream because she's not requiring much. But yet, Cody can't do what most average men will be able to. Keep a woman like Janelle happy. And he can't do it. A woman like Janelle is most men's dream. Because mm -hmm. really, they do not have to deal with her emotions at all. Like, she oh, is she emotionally is. stable. She does not need him to come and tend to her. No, like, she doesn't, she doesn't need cuddle time after intimacy at all. I mean, she yeah. does not need you to go and be there for her emotionally. She doesn't no. need you to go there be for, there for her. She doesn't need, need your shoulder to cry on. She doesn't need you to be there complimenting her and saying, honey, Either. you look great. No. She doesn't need you to be doing date night with her. No. She doesn't really need companionship like that either. Although like, now she wants it though. Now she wants a little more time because the kids are not there. But I'm talking about before. before like he ruined yeah. it. He definitely ruined it. He ruined it beforehand. But she before she didn't need any of that she stuff didn't. now. Yeah. But now she thinks that she wants some more because it's like she's been brought to her attention that yeah. he has walked all over her. Exactly. And but. A, man, a woman like Janelle, most men would beg for. <laughs> like, really? Like. And I am sure there are men out there looking at Cody and just be He's friends probably uh, like. You are an idiot. How did you mess up Janelle? Uh, please tell me exactly how, again, are you having problems with Janelle? Like, I can, I, can, I can understand Christine, but Janelle? Right, because, you know, Christine, maybe you could still because she's emotional and stuff like that. She wants that. the romance and stuff like she that. She wants the romance and all that and stuff. And you're more emotional than her, but so Janelle, I can get it. But like, she's our bro, right? Um, and then she's a looker, like, what is the problem? You yeah. Know, she thinks like us. How come it did not work? <laughs> I know, so I'm just kind of like confused, you know, so I mean, I'm confused. Are you guys as confused as we are? Do you think that Cody has failed where the average man wouldn't fail? There's something seriously wrong with Cody that he messed up. That's with why I feel as though Cody's a failure. We have decided that Cody's a failure simply because he messed up with Janelle. And, it, and it, you know, you know the saying, it's not me, it's you. Yes, Cody. It's you. It's not Janelle. And it's not any of the wife. It's actually you. You are the problem. <laughs> because you messed Janelle up. So now we can say for sure that it's you. The failure of these relationships, this plural marriage, we can actually say it's you. Because you messed up Janelle. Yeah, just toxic. You know, you just, you That's had it. a good thing. You did not appreciate it. You didn't That's see the all. value in it. You didn't love her enough. And you just, you weren't grateful for Janelle. No. You know, you just took advantage of it, yeah. you know? You should have respected it, you should have honored it, mm -hmm. and you should have showed up for her. Yes. And even the, now... The little time she needed you to show up, you should have just showed up for yeah. Janelle. So, yeah. it is what it is. It's what it and is. even now, when she's asking you for the minimum in the order minimum. to reconcile, you can't even see it. He, he, hasn't, he didn't hear her, or... Like, I think you said the right thing. He wants her to come to him on his own terms. 
Yeah. We're not going to do counselor. We're going to bypass the counselor because I don't want anyone telling me how I'm wrong. So we're going to bypass it, Janelle, and we're just going to be great. Or maybe he really wants first her to come to him physically so that he can know that she really loves him still before he puts in the energy of a counselor. Do you guys think that's what he's doing? But well, we're going to talk about that in the next video, y'all. It's Mary. <laughs> and, um, we invite you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below, you all. Bye. Bye.